there, welcome to my channel. My name is Missy and as always, I'm so happy that you're here with me today. So today we're doing a thrift store haul. I went to Bibles for Missions and I also went to Value Village. Um, if you've been watching me for a while, you know that I mostly go to Bibles for Missions because the prices are reasonable there. Uh, Value Village is a little more expensive. But I thought while I was out, I would pop in because I was curious if they'd have anything that I would want to buy. And they did. They did have a couple of things that I did pick up, uh, but mostly everything is from Bibles for Missions. So let's get to and I'll show you what I bought. So the first thing I got was $5. And it's this cute little blazer. I just love the color of it, especially for Christmas. Um, it does look a little small for me. I don't know if it'll do up, but we'll find out shortly. Um, it doesn't matter. I'll still wear it. I'll just wear it open. But, you know, it has the long sleeves on it. And it's just a really nice material. $5. The next thing that I'm going to show you was uh, $9.49. I kept the tag because I have worn this. And uh, this is a dress. So it was in the dress section at Value Village. And uh, my daughter first picked it up and she was going to buy it. And then she put it back. And I thought, well, I'm going to buy that because it is really good quality. It's very stretchy. I will not wear this as a dress, but I will wear this over leggings. And um, yeah, it's just a beautiful, beautiful piece. Um, I love the color of the flowers and uh, it's very fall-like, but I'll, I'll wear it during the winter as well. Just really, really nice. The next piece of clothing I got, I got this for Cuba, of course I did, and this was Bibles for Missions, and it was $4, and I don't usually wear crop tops, but things are so different when you're in Cuba. You know, you wear the bathing suit, you wear the shorts, you wear the, the crop tops, and this is so nice. It's a really nice material. Um, it has this nice waistband with elastic and this nice detail down the front of it, and I thought this was really, really nice, and I love the sleeves. And I could just see myself wearing it in Cuba. So, so nice. Love that. The next thing I got, I have worn as well. Um, but I kept the price tag on it, tucked in. $4. And I could not leave this behind. This is a gorgeous little bolero. And it has the rose details. Just lovely. Now, what I found with this, it does have clasps on it. But um, they're just not working properly. So I just took a couple of earrings and popped them in there for buttons and it worked just fine. Um, so $4 for that. It is a beautiful soft material. I'm really happy that I picked that up. The next thing I got was this black sweater and I have worn this also. I just couldn't help myself. But um, it's a lovely, just a black sweater and it has sort of this waistband um, here that stretches and uh, little uh, button details. It's inside out. Button details. <laughs> I must have uh, left it inside out when I wore it, but uh, it has little button details on the sleeve. Love it. You cannot have too many black sweaters, in my opinion. The next thing I got, I believe it was Value Village. I don't have a price tag on it. Um, I did wash this. Um, it's a nighty, and I thought, how fun for Christmas. Fun, fun, fun. It has little pockets and uh, just to lounge around the house. I thought this was really cute. I love the blue and uh, on a nice cold night when it's snowing, that'll be very, very comfortable. And I will try that on as well. Okay, so I got this at Value Village and I was not leaving without it. Um, she was $3.99 and it's a vintage caroler just absolutely gorgeous. I was not leaving that store without it. Now it does have somewhere a little chip out of it, but I have tons of paint in the house and I will just touch her up. But uh, she has her little caroling book here. And uh, I think that someone made this and painted it. I mean, back in the eighties, you know, um, doing something like this was very in. My mother did it. Um, I did a few things, a few pieces back then. And um, I just love her. I don't know where I'm going to put her yet, but I absolutely love her. Yes. The next thing that I picked up, as if I need any more Christmas items, but uh, it was $1.50. And it's this beautiful bell. 
and it's just made of this twine and then these little red berries and I thought that was cute. I don't know where I'm going to put it yet, but um, for $1.50 of course I'm bringing it home. Really, really nice. Nice big bell. Yes, we like that. Okay, so the next thing I got, they were $1.50 and uh, they're just little pine cones with some gold on them. I'll probably put them in a vase or stick them in a tree or something like that. But um, I thought they were really nice. So I brought those home as well. And then I was lucky enough to find some more beads. Um, because I am putting up three trees this year. And um, I love my uh, beads on my trees. So this was $3. This big, big container of gold beads. Um, so yes, I had to bring that home and also this one was $3, another set of gold beads. So uh, hopefully it's all one strand or maybe two, hopefully, but, um, I'll be putting those on my tree in my dining room. And then I found this ornament and it was a uh, dollar and I just thought this was really cute. Kind of Victorian looking, really, really pretty. Yes, I'll just straighten the bow out on it and it'll be just lovely. But um, yeah, I thought that was really, really cute. I used to make my own ornaments, so um, I know how much work is in these. So, so pretty. The next thing I got was $5.99. And you know I love my birds. If you have watched me for a while, you know I talk about birds. I, I have two parrots at home. Um, this was $5.99 and it has a little spot here where you can hang it on the wall so it will hang like this. And um, I also have another bird, something like this, but I think it's a parrot and uh, it hangs on the wall as well. And um, I just couldn't leave without this. I mean, first of all, it's a bird. Secondly, it's pink and that's my favorite color. And um, I love my birds, but I thought this was really, really cute. I will put it somewhere in my room. I'm just not sure where yet. So, the next thing I got in the Christmas section, and um, I have not seen any kind of ornament like this ever in my life, and um, I was excited. I don't know where they came from, but they were 50 cents for two strands, and these are absolutely gorgeous. And I know for a fact, just by feeling them, uh, looking at them that they were not cheap to buy uh, when they were new. These are absolutely stunning. I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but they are really, really something in real life here. Real, real pretty. And um, how many sets did I get? They're so nice. The girl wrapped them in paper. She just thought they were something. And um, I agree with her, but they're kind of tangled. But I got uh, one, two, three four or five sets. I'm going to have to untangle these for sure, but um, <laughs> I got a few of them. But they're just, I can't get over them. Um, I love the gold, and I absolutely love the silver with the gold. Um, normally, I wouldn't put silver and gold together very much, but um, these are stunning. And I'm going to put these uh, on my tree in the dining room. Um, I mean, I just can't get over it. I mean, I would just maybe put lights in these on the tree, honestly. They're just absolutely beautiful and a showstopper. Love them. And like I said, I don't know where they came from, but I know they must have cost money. I mean, they just, what's it say on here? Does it say? No, it's just a number, but, uh, you know, 50 cents for two of them. Lovely. I'm so in love with them. So... The last thing that I bought at the thrift store before I try that stuff on for you, like I needed another tree. I will not pay full price for a tree at a store. I just won't. The tree in my living room, uh, I got off Kijiji. It was used for one year. Um, the lady that sold it to me, her husband had passed away and he loved Christmas and she had bought the tree for him. And uh, I bought it from her for $40 and I love my tree in the living room. And uh, every year I think of her and I think of her husband when I put it up. So I just love anything with the history or, or sentimental value to it. And uh, I told her I will look after this tree and, and I have. So I bought another tree and uh, 
I'm not going to take it out of the bag. I will just show it to you uh, in the bag, but I will show you all of my trees decorated. Um, this one will be going in the dining room and uh, it's, it's pretty big. It's pretty big. It's um, not going to hit the ceiling or anything, but I do believe if I remember correctly, it is taller than I am. So that was $24. I mean, $24 for a Christmas tree. And they had tons of trees there. Every color, uh, except for pink. Because if they had a pink tree, I would have had a pink tree in this bag and not a green one. But um, anyway, so that's the end of the haul. I'm going to go try that stuff on and uh, I will be right back. So here is the Christmas nighty that I bought. It is so comfortable. Like I said, it has pockets. I could throw my phone in here. Uh, just love it. It's very, very comfortable. Fits perfectly. And, you know, I paid next to nothing for this. And uh, I love it. And it's great for Christmas. Absolutely. So glad that I bought this. So here is the dress I bought from Value Village. I am in love with this. Like I said, I'll wear it over my leggings, um, pair of boots. It's just so, so cute. I could put a belt on with it. It's a very lightweight knit, and uh, I am super glad that I picked this up as well. So here is the crop top that I bought from Bibles for Missions, and um, I cannot wait to wear this with a nice wraparound skirt uh, on the streets of Aradero in Cuba. I cannot wait. This is a really nice piece as well, and I paid a couple of dollars for this. I uh, can't believe it. It's absolutely gorgeous. So here is the black sweater that I bought from Bibles for Missions, and I just love it. It's very comfortable. It's very classic. has some nice little detail there on the sleeve, and like I said, you can't have too many little black sweaters in your closet. Here is the blazer that I bought at Bibles for Missions. I love the color, absolutely love it. It is a little snug if I try to do it up. I can do it up, but it does not look right and it doesn't feel comfortable. But I will just wear it open and I think this is just a great staple for your closet. Well, that try on went really, really well. I'm super pleased with everything that I bought uh, and it didn't break the bank. The red blazer, like I said, was a little snug when I tried to do it up, but that's okay. It still looks nice um, undone, and uh, I will still wear it. Uh, for $5, I will take that deal all day long for a blazer. Yes, I will. Um, and I'm really, really happy with everything else I got. Um, if you're looking to just, you know, stay on a budget or to save a little money, uh, thrifting is the way to go. And uh, you just never know what you're going to find when you step through those doors. And it's very, very exciting. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe and hit the like button. Until next time, bye for now.